It is our great frustration that tonight's broadcast feels like so many others we've brought you lately. Another variant, another hit and run in Denver, and leading tonight's coverage, another instance of youth violence in Aurora. Five young men between the ages of 16 and 20 were shot over the weekend, and just hours earlier, a crowd had gathered at Nome Park to pray for those shot near Hinkley High and Aurora Central. Denver 7's Patrick Perez was at that vigil. He was there today as Aurora Public Schools took new measures they hope will keep students safe. Patrick? Yeah, today is the first day of the district's closed campus policy. This means high school students, they are no longer allowed to leave campus for lunch. And let me tell you, some students are not happy about this. As the lunch bell at Aurora Central High rang Monday, multiple students decided they were not going to eat here. That's despite the district's new policy prohibiting high school students from leaving campus for lunch. We're not trying to run prisons, right? We're not trying to, uh, you know, tackle kids. We're trying to make sure they understand the rules just like any other rule in school. APS Superintendent Rico Munn says it's just day one and the schools are still trying to make their students aware of the change. Whenever you institute a new significant policy, uh, you have a process of kids understanding what that policy is. Uh, uh, what the framework of that is and how it's going to be enforced. The change from an open campus policy to a closed one stems from recent shootings involving high school students. One at Nome Park two weeks ago and another in the parking lot of Hinkley High School just days later. A total of nine teens were shot in both incidents. I believe what we can say is that the um, Hinkley shooting was, we have some information that that was gang related. Aurora Police Deputy Chief Darren Parker will wait to see if the school district's new policy makes an impact. It's hard to say. I don't know that it's going to be the cure all and, and absolutely prevent you know any incidents from happening. But he welcomes any solutions to curb this violence. Students we spoke with, however, are not thrilled. It was kind of sucked because we couldn't leave, really leave. Johnny is a 10th grader at Hinkley. He says the halls were packed, the cafeteria food wasn't so great, and it was boring. It sucks. It's like sucks. It's like prison, it's like jail. He and his friends get why the change was made, but he wishes it did not cost them their freedom. It sucks that other people got to mess it up for us, for, for like sure. the whole district and stuff. But some will agree it may be worth it in the end. And this closed campus policy will remain in effect until winter break. The district will then consider whether to reinstate it when the kids get back to class in the new year. We did learn today, by the way, that the two shootings at Hinkley High School and at Nome Park, they are not related. As for the shooting at Dayton Street and East Colfax Avenue, police are still trying to learn more information about that. For now, we're live in Aurora tonight. I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7.